Now that we have an awareness of what is involved in understanding what we hear, let's look at a pattern that is common in late talkers. Late talkers are often best at understanding vocabulary and weakest in understanding grammar. And even though syntax can involve longer sentences, late talkers often get some information. Let's think about vocabulary. Why do late talkers often understand vocabulary the best? In order to understand why, consider these vocabulary words. What do you picture in your mind's eye when you hear the words cookie or pencil? For cookie, I immediately picture chocolate chip. You may picture oatmeal raisin. Whatever our favorite, the vast majority of us are picturing something sweet and round. For pencil, we may be picturing different colors, but most of us are seeing something long and straight with a point at one end and an eraser at the other. We can imagine verbs too. We can picture hug, jump, and other actions, even modifiers, yellow or blue, we can picture them in our mind's eye too. Now let's consider grammar, or in another word, inflections. What do you picture when you hear to, or if, or ing, or a, uh, or ed? Likely nothing. There's no picture. Grammar is visually and auditorily abstract. There is no related picture in our visual cortex that we can relate to or associate that aids us and supports our understanding. Many late talkers have exceptional visual skills and visual memories. Vocabulary has a strong visual reference. Grammar does not. Having a visual reference aids the late talkers' understanding of what they hear. Being able to bootstrap what they hear to visualization, a picture in their mind, supports their auditory comprehension, or in other words, to listen and understand the language they hear. Finally, syntax. Are late talkers better at extracting meaning that is relayed by word order than by grammar? That is a topic that will be covered in more detail in future courses. What we can say about syntax is that syntax involves longer sentences and longer sentences contain more vocabulary words. Here's a sentence that contains complex syntax. Get your shoes and you can come with mommy to the store. We've bolded the vocabulary words and italicized the pieces of grammar. Our late talkers are smart. They can hear a complex sentence, pick out the vocabulary words they understand, perhaps in this case, shoes, come, mommy, look around them at the context and see that mommy has car keys and a shopping list, or perhaps the grocery bag she takes with her. They put two and two together with the vocabulary they understand and make a very accurate conclusion about what was just communicated to them. With that, they run off, get their shoes, and happily follow mommy to the door, anticipating a fun trip to the grocery. They got the message, but what language did they actually understand? Where did they extract the meaning? Was it from vocabulary and grammar and syntax? Or was it a combination of knowing the routines that go with trips to the grocery store, seeing the visual context, and understanding some vocabulary? That is a tricky question with a range of answers, and that is what we are going to begin to address in the last part of this course.